With the iPhone 13 event maybe only two weeks away and the launch just 10 days after that, the rumors are coming in hotter, heavier, and wilder than ever, including this one from just last night, that the iPhone 13 could be a full-on satellite phone, able to make calls and send texts even when you're not on a cellular network, which sounds just way, way too good to be true. I'm Renee Ritchie, welcome back to the channel. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring, let's do this. There are a few new rumors floating around about the iPhone 13, including one that says TSMC is hiking up the price of Apple Silicon, which means Apple might be forced to hike up the price of the iPhone 13. And if you want a video about that, well, let me know in the comments right below the like button. Meanwhile, supply chain exfiltrator extraordinaire Guo Mingqi is just back back again, this time saying iPhone 13 will support low orbit satellite communication, likely through Global Star, but who knows, maybe Elon Musk and SpaceX's Starlink, maybe China satellite communications, among others in the future, all thanks to a custom Qualcomm X60 modem, something that won't be available until the next generation X65 modem for the rest of the phone market. So. Of course, we immediately got a million blog posts and videos about, oh my God, more like iPhone sat phone, but which just makes the kind of sense that absolutely doesn't. I'll get to why the whole idea is so problematic in a low earth orbiting minute, but I think the coverage comes down to the way Quo sort of just glitches out and resets the matrix halfway through his report. It's right here where he says Qualcomm has been working with Global Star for a long time and expects to support Global Star's N53 band in future X65 baseband chips, which true, but then a black cat just walks by. Therefore, if Apple wants to provide satellite communication on the iPhone 13, we believe the most likely manufacturer to cooperate is Global Star, which could also be true one day, but completely and utterly conflated with the first part today. And I mean, yes, sure. Getting a satellite signal in and of itself is no big deal. The iPhone has been doing that with GPS since the 3G in 2008. And the iPhone 12 supports GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, QZSS, and Beidou for other geographies as well. But if you want to get a signal back up to the satellite, that's way more difficult because physics and a whole other antenna system to manage, which is currently a lot. Like makes the iPhone 12 millimeter wave transparency window seem like nothing a lot. So let's focus on that first part again, the pre black cat glitch part, where Global Star does indeed have a 53 band for 5G NR or new radio. And in point of fact, it is gonna be included in Qualcomm's X65 modem for everyone. And that means it's certainly possible Apple's gotten Qualcomm to whip up a special version of the X60 modem, the modem widely anticipated to be in the iPhone 13 that includes N53 a little early, an N62.5 modem, if you will. And according to Global Star, N53 can help with small cell 5G, but can also be used as a traffic channel or as an anchor for other licensed or unlicensed bands in 5G networks. There's also a just way better than M. Night Shyamalan style plot twist at the end of this, which I'll get to in a second. But while it's possible that Apple could just walk in in a couple of weeks and slap a sat phone antenna down on the table, if this report is at all accurate, it seems just far, far more likely that Apple would be using N53 as an anchor or something for the iPhone 13's improved 5G system. And Quo is just conflating Global Star's terrestrial business with their celestial business. And now Bloomberg's Mark Gurman has a fresh new report about what could be the other part of that system, the emergency messaging and emergency reporting system where it would tie into satellite when there is no cellular network available so you could still stay in contact so that you could still report a disaster and it might not require the much larger antennas that full on sat phones require. Although looking at the products in that category, those antennas are still something at least now, which might be why these systems aren't for now, but for the future. But let's be honest, 5G is barely, barely even mainstream right now. And I'm still not convinced millimeter wave will ever end up being a truly consumer facing technology at scale. It just, it reeks so much of WiMAX still. Never mind full on satellite phone for everyone, which is probably even further out when the technology matures to a point where the antennas are more feasible for an iPhone style device. And who knows, maybe Apple is closer to shipping their own custom modems by then, even putting their own low earth orbit satellites, just 
across the sky because that's been rumored before as well. And if you disagree with me, if you wanna come from my satellite neck, it's just never been easier to make your own video to allow you to retort that way. Evan from Polymatter even has a class up that'll show you how to make an animated YouTube video all the way to uploading it on YouTube, all with today's sponsor, Skillshare. And you can learn literally anything because that's the true power of Skillshare. It isn't just one class, even several classes. It's a whole entire online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and just get lost in your creativity. It's where I go anytime I wanna learn anything because it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and there are always new premium classes available so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you, be it illustration or design, photography, video, freelancing, fine arts and crafts, and so much more with real projects to create and the support of real fellow creatives. And because you're watching this video, the first 1,000 of you to click on the link in the description will get a one month trial of Skillshare for free. So just click on that link and you can start exploring your creativity today. Clicking on that link really helps out this channel and so does hitting up this playlist for more real talk on what's coming and what's not coming with the iPhone 13 this year. So just hit it up and I'll see you in the next video.